Hi guys, welcome to the part two where I'm gonna continue to automate my desk. In case you haven't seen the part one, well, have a look here because in the part one I have draw the electronic schema and I have made to look very ugly and as you can see there are a bunch of wires here. Now here in the part two I'm gonna um, just make it to look pretty because there are a lot of wires here and uh, it looks very ugly. I'm gonna also connect to my home and I'm gonna be able to put in my dashboard for the home assistant which I have integrated in my home. Now let's get started. Now the first thing which I have done, I want to use the existing switch to be able to control with the desk. So what I did, I have just took an ethernet cable, I have cut and the three wires that they were controlling the desk, uh, I have basic shortcut and connect to one of the one of the end to the Tasmota and the other end to the existing uh, controlling. Now that should be enough to allow control using the home assistant but also the buttons that I have in my desk. Now with a bit of magic from the montage, here we have. So I took a box of plastic, I've put everything there, all the wires and all the harness, and at the end there are three wires here. There is the two ethernet cables, an input and the output, and the power. And at the end it's everything like a plug and play. I can either use the desk with my box or without. And after a couple of harness, let's give a try. And it works. Now let's connect to my home. I'm gonna open Home Assistant, hit the configuration, then integrations. And here I'm gonna search for Tasmota. There's no integration available. I'm gonna hit add, write Tasmota here. And I'm gonna confirm with submit. So finish. Now going back to the Home Assistant, I'll go here on the dashboard and hit edit. And after I have added the Tasmota, uh, because it's automatically discovered, uh, being configured by the Tasmota integration, I should have here uh, the entity, it's, it is already present, but I need to put it here visible. So I'm gonna go here and add a card, and go here by entity, and the name is desk, so it's, it's called smart desk. And here you can see uh, this is the office desk cover one, okay? Uh, this is the cover which allows to go up and down and stop. So I'm gonna just check this, hit continue, go to add to home assistant. And here we have, I have the office desk cover one. Now I need to customize, so I'm gonna just go and edit, hit settings, and give a name like office desk. And here we have, I'm gonna hit update, and that's my desk. Now I'll probably move to a separate view, but that's customization is related to Home Assistant and not for this tutorial. So that should be all. So now let's give it a try. The buttons that the desk has came, I have put here in the right side. So I'm gonna just lift here, press once, it will go down and stop, and I'm gonna just hit another again, and it should lift by himself. Now this functionality was not available uh, in the IKEA, so when you buy the desk already, you need to press and hold the button. So this is something which you can program uh, just by configuring by Tasmota, and actually there's a plenty of documentation for Tasmota, and I'm gonna just leave a link in the description. I have also integrated using the Tasmota built-in integration link to the home assistant. And now my desk, it is exposed through the home assistant via publicly and the Google, the Google Home is able to connect and to access this desk. So let's give it a try. Hey Google, close IKEA desk. And it's going down. Now I can also cancel the position, so I'm gonna just hit again and that should be all uh, now this project is fully finished I don't have any cable here and it looks pretty and I really enjoyed to create this project and I hope you also did now the next step would be to create some automations drop me a comment if you do have any idea for that and that was all I'm Daniel and until the next time see you soon bye